Preface of Plunkett of Tammany Hall, a series of very plain talks on very practical politics. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Mike Benditti. Plunkett of Tammany Hall, a series of very plain talks on very practical politics by George Washington Plunkett. Preface. This volume discloses the mental operations of perhaps the most thoroughly practical politician of the day, George Washington Plunkett, Tammany leader of the 15th Assembly District, sachem of the Tammany Society, and chairman of the Elections Committee of Tammany Hall, who has held the offices of state senator, assemblyman, police magistrate, county supervisor, and alderman and who boasts of his record in filling four public offices in one year and drawing salaries from three of them at the same time the disclosures that follow were delivered by him from his rostrum the bootblack stand in the county courthouse at various times in the last half dozen years their absolute frankness and vigorous unconventionality of thought and expression charmed me plunkett said right out what all practical politicians think but are afraid to say. Some of the discourses I published as interviews in the New York Evening Post, the New York Sun, the New York World, and the Boston Transcript. They were reproduced in newspapers throughout the country, and several of them, notably the talks on the curse of civil service reform and honest graft and dishonest graft, became subjects of discussions in the United States Senate and in college lectures. There seemed to be a general recognition of Plunkett as a striking type of the practical politician, a politician, moreover, who dared to say publicly what others in his class whisper among themselves in the city hall corridors and the hotel lobbies. I thought it a pity to let Plunkett's revelations of himself as frank in their way as Rousseau's confessions perish in the files of the newspapers so i collected the talks i had published added several new ones and now give to the world in this volume a system of political philosophy which is as unique as it is refreshing no new yorker needs to be informed who george washington plunkett is for the information of others the following sketch of his career is given he was born as he proudly tells in central park that is, in the territory now included in the park. He began life as a driver of a cart, then became a butcher's boy, and later went into the butcher business for himself. How he entered politics, he explains in one of his discourses. His advancement was rapid. He was in the assembly soon after he cast his first vote and has held office most of the time for forty years. In 1870, through a strange combination of circumstances, he held the places of assemblyman, alterman, police magistrate, and county supervisor, and drew three salaries at once, a record, unexampled in New York politics. Plunkett is now a millionaire. He owes his fortune mainly to his political pull, as he confesses, in honest graft and dishonest graft. He is in the contracting, transportation, real estate, and every other business out of which he can make money. He has no office. His headquarters is the county courthouse bootblack stand. There he receives his constituents, transacts his general business, and pours forth his philosophy. Plunkett has been one of the great powers in Tammany Hall for a quarter of a century. While he was in the Assembly and the State Senate, he was one of the most influential members and introduced the bills that provided for the outlying parks of New York City, the Harlem River Speedway, the Washington Bridge, the 155th Street Viaduct, the grading of 8th Avenue North of 57th Street, additions to the Museum of Natural History, the West Side Court, and many other important public improvements. He is one of the closest friends and most valued advisors of Charles F. Murphy, leader of Tammany Hall, William L. Roridan, a tribute to Plunkett by the leader of Tammany Hall. Senator Plunkett is a straight organization man. He believes in party government. He does not indulge in cant and hypocrisy, and he is never afraid to say exactly what he thinks. He is a believer in thorough political organization and all the year-round work. 
and he holds to the doctrine that, in making appointments to office, party workers should be preferred if they are fitted to perform the duties of the office. Plunkett is one of the veteran leaders of the organization. He has always been faithful and reliable, and he has performed valuable services for Tammany Hall. End of Preface